Don't you love the fact that we're like trying to teeter on the edge of like web and then like this, how do we make something so easy for us to deliver that is complementary to the main core business? Well, I'm like, going to have access to all of these things. Completely. So it's, it's like, like for me to level that up is increased value. And that's how I would get to those 10 grand a month packages. And yeah. you say, well, Charlie, how do you how do you justify this? So end game of my model is like if I'm 10 clients at 10 grand a month and it's worth it, when you look at the cost, let's just say uh, if a real estate agent was successfully to pick up a listing and sell that property, they normally get like, I've seen some get like 3%, yep. 4%, right? I don't know, a million dollar property, that's a lot of money. If what I'm doing is generating a sufficient amount of new listings and helping them move deals quicker, get more people in, it's like it's a no-brainer. Yep. They're also not going to get this from anyone else. This is the mode. Totally. So, all right, and then here's my um, pitch. You ready for this? You ready for I'm the one. real one? I'm one. Exclusivity. So why I'm going to charge a fortune is because I know, and I know this through experiences of I've had it networking and you see the way real estate agents behave at times. I know real estate agents that go to B&I just so no one else in their area will go to the B&I. They don't even use it. They attend and participate just because they don't want another real estate agent having the B&I seat. <laughs> Human beings are so amazing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Exactly. So that's my move. So is it is it is city exclusivity or like a radius around us? I would say a radius is appropriate yep. is in this type of model because like, you know, for example, like Melbourne and Sydney are huge places. Totally. So you, you'd work out what fits and then that would be the size of it. I love the fact that you brought in real estate into this. I, I just like the fact you brought in property just in general, full stop. So I'm stick to curious. What, I stick to what I know. <laughs> so I'm curious. Uh, how are you going to get these people? How are you going to market to them? Yeah, so um, I'm going to use a different method. I'm going to use something that worked really well, uh, in basically everything we've done. So I like to, when I'm operating an agency, use a, what I call trophy client model. So this is where I would go and find someone I can do this for to build a really good case study for and then basically brag about it continually and uh, gravitate towards their trust and the market has trust of them so that I am the trusted sale. Yep. So to give you an idea on that, how that would potentially work, try and use a, a very relevant one. Um, okay, let's say Warren Buffett suddenly said that I'm the greatest real estate investor of all time. I, I suspect you might have other real estate investors lean on you. Exactly, because I've just borrowed Uncle Warren's trust here. Yep. So I would very much be looking for a real estate agent that I could do this for maybe discounted, maybe for free to build a really, really strong case study and then market it, I would I would think that is the avenue I'm going to go. Now, again, you've done like relationships and things like that. I could potentially lean into some of them here as well. But in agency world, I just think the trophy client strategy is really powerful. And like I know a guy, and I won't name him just because I haven't asked, but like when he had his SEO agency, like he managed to land some really big SEO clients. And then all he did was just continually talk about what he was doing for them. Yeah. And then everyone else flocked to him. So that would be more of the strategy I would use. I think you can borrow trust from marketplace. Yeah. So find out who has the trust of real estate agents, lean into those relationships. It might be partnering with someone who owns a mastermind in the space. I know there's a few out there. It might be, uh, again, build the epic case study that outlines this strategy here and then market into that so that, again, they can have what I've already done for someone else because I think that helps with the sell. One of, one of my bullet points that so- hadn't mentioned was like recording the audits of the brands and then using that those as ads just like <laughs> jamming them in front of dentists because that I, I love your case study point because it does something very similar it puts you on the pedestal it makes you the expert it makes you the ones that everyone's like in order for me to be like that real estate agent i have to use that service and that's the only difference between us and them because everything else we do is the same we're just a slightly different suburb of everything but they're making so much more money than me the only thing that I do not have because I've replicated everything else is Charlie's business. <laughs> so maybe if I use that server. But tell me that's not a valuable pitch here. And like I'm not discounting the idea if you don't have any ties to real estate, that might be hard to get your first client. Totally. Right. I, I completely accept that. Like you might literally have to do go to a lot of these places and pitch, I'll work for you for free just to prove this. All I want is a testimonial. But once you have that, once you have a couple of uh, really strong trophy client case study examples here, 
I know the ego and um, like status of real estate agents, if they perceive someone else is more successful because they have this and you don't, they will buy. Yep. It's true. Just, yeah. just watch it. If a real estate agent gets an AMG and everyone else has got a Mercedes, sure enough, they'll all have AMG soon enough. I, I've seen enough of it in this space. And it, like, I'm not trying to uh, fire shots. I get it's a perception game and a status game. Just like in, uh, like, Politics is another one, right? They yeah. all dress well and do certain things in a way. And rather than making judgment of it, I just want to use that to my advantage. Hey, fellow business owner. If this topic and value-packed short video has resonated with you at all and you want to dive deeper into creating wealth inside and outside your business, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.